Welcome back for another episode of Cannon Fodder. I don't really have much to say in the way of an intro, so let's dive in. We open this week with an exciting announcement many of you have probably already heard about. For those who haven't, the Arbiter, Kaiden of Vadam, leader of the Swords of Sanghelios, is coming to Killer Instinct. I really wish we'd known about this a little earlier as Season 1 of Killer Instinct was just free for Xbox Live Gold members, but eh, I guess it probably wouldn't have mattered that much. But it would have been a nice way to get Halo fans to jump on the bandwagon. Regardless, the base game is always free and you only have to pay for what content you want, so if you want, you can just get the game in The Arbiter. Not much else to say at this point, but I'm really excited to see what The Arbiter is like in Killer Instinct. The next section is a little different for Cannon Fodder. For the cosplayers and fan artists out there, Grimm has provided a number of renders of Cortana's final form in Halo 5. I'll definitely talk more about her look when we get to her proper appearance in my Halo 5 Breakdown series, which is coming soon, I promise. But for now, these images provide a very nice look. You can see how both artistically and in-universe, the new design pays homage to Cortana's old look and her origins, while adding Forerunner elements, signifying her taking possession of the mantle. The cherry on top is truly the Eld on her chest, the symbol of the mantle. It's a small detail, one I know that some Halo fans missed, but it's one that I personally appreciated when I finally noticed it. Along with the renders is a brief interview with Tim Longo and Brian Reed, creative and narrative directors for Halo 5, respectively. It's pretty much the stuff I just talked about in terms of content, though check it out if you want to hear their thoughts on Cortana's new look. And that pretty much brings the article to a close. Well, almost. The article actually ends with Grimm giving a shout out to a new Facebook page that popped up this week, known as Covenant Canon. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. If you're into the Covenant more than any other aspect of Halo, this is the page for you. Link to the page is in the description box along with the creator's Twitter. Check them both out and give the guys some community love. With that, we arrive at what I find to be the highlight this week, the new universe entry for the Type 28 Intrusion Vehicle, aka... THE TICK! God, such a simple name, and yet I love it. For me and many others, the word tick has only one meaning. SPOON! God, I miss the 90s. Anyway, nostalgia aside, I think most fans are fairly well acquainted with... The Tick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, last time, I promise. The boarding craft are, as far as we know, first seen in Halo 2. They deploy from larger craft, latch onto enemy vessels, and, using a breaching tube, penetrate the vessel and allow Covenant troops easy access. Now I say, as far as we know, we first saw it in Halo 2, but we also have the boarding craft in Halo CE, which may or may not have been ticks. We simply don't know at this point. But anyway, that does it for today. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.